Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Uh, we are running a little bit behind. Also, I want to uh, just let you guys know if you hear a lot of noise in the background, I am so sorry. I live by the mountains, you guys, and it is crazy freaking windy right now. So uh, with that being said, I want to wish you guys happy holidays and let's get into your reading Leo. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2020. Now, when shuffling the cards, your card popped out, so we're going to keep it here. This is the Queen of Wands. Now, this is the energy that you're taking on for this month of December, Leo. Doesn't matter if you're a male. Uh, Queen of Wands could represent the feminine energy in you. Yes, we all have masculine and feminine. Um, anyways, let's get into your reading. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, and we have the Page of Cups. Wow, we have two pages here. Okay. All right, Leo. For this month, I feel that what they're telling you is really, like, I feel you guys have gone through this transformation. Um, it hasn't been easy this year. I don't think it's been easy for anyone, to be honest with you. Um, but with the Queen of Wands, I feel that this is like, this is you coming into your own Leo or having more confidence. I see you guys radiating more confidence in yourself. Um, and, and I'm sensing almost like for some of you guys, you've, your confidence has been tested. It's almost like there was some type of element of either feeling like, feeling rejected or feeling like people were taking advantage of you and you got to a point where you said, you know what, enough is enough and you took your power back. And that's exactly what the Queen of Wands is speaking in volumes here. Uh, it's almost like, yes, I know. Um, I know my power. I know what I deserve. I know exactly what my worth is and I'm not going to settle for anything other than what I deserve. That's the type of energy that I'm sensing. Um, now, this could have been in regards to relationships. It could have been in that in the past. You were entertaining people that you weren't really interested in, but you kind of felt like you weren't feeling your best. And it was almost like you were kind of looking to waste time Um now, this is not going to be for everyone, but I feel like there could have been people, individuals around you that wanted to get to know you, that wanted to, and you weren't necessarily interested, but yet you still communicated with them because you didn't really see better options at the moment. Um, now, I know that sounds horrible, but the thing about it here is that what they're telling me, it has a lot to do with the confidence either the lack of confidence, you could have hit this, uh, you know, this cycle where you kind of question your worth or you kind of question um, perhaps past relationships, why people have not reciprocated with the same intensity and passion. Now, I know Leos have a tendency of having a reputation of um, being very much egocentrical. Um and it, it, it is true to a certain degree. Now, for some of you guys, it is um, in a humbling degree, uh, meaning knowing and being uh, assured of who you are, uh, but being humble about it, while others take it to the shadow side. You know what I mean? Uh, Leo is the, it, it is the sun, so it is ego. Um, but I feel that for some of you guys, it, it, it almost like you you've been either challenged or you've been tested in regards to your worth or what you consider your worth. Looking around you, looking at the possessions, things that you have or that you've acquired or that you've achieved. And for some of you guys, it could have even been that you were in a very long-term committed relationship. And for some of you guys, uh, that relationship came to a conclusion and you kind of stepped back and, and questioned or wondered, um, you know, at this point in my life, I always thought that I would be doing this or that I would be uh, achieving this. So there is a lot of 
I feel that there was this process to you of realizing like, you know what, I, I, I've been questioning or doubting myself too much and you're shaking it off. And I see that you guys are, like I said, taking your power back. Now, taking your power back, when they say that to me, it indicates, it, it could indicate two different things. One, it could be taking your power back, being confident and knowing your worth and saying, I am not going to deal with nonsense anymore. But for others, it could represent that you, in a relationship, sacrificed a lot or even self-sacrifice uh, to make the relationship work or to make your partner uh, even excusing certain behaviors of them. And it's like, you're like, nope, not anymore. Like, I'm done with that. With the Six of Swords, I see you guys walking towards, um, I see you guys walking towards better, more stable, emotional stability. Now, Keep in mind, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see you guys walking towards um, opportunities. I do see love around you guys, and you may have two different uh, different opportunity or two different people that are interested in you. We have the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Now, pages uh, represent messages, communication, but the element of energy here is fire and water. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, or a Scorpio Cancer Pisces type of energy. Now, I do see communication coming through again for this month of December. For a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, uh, this could represent <clears throat> communicating with people that are, you're getting to know uh, and feeling like you have more than one option. I definitely see that. Now, for others of you, this could represent um, walking towards, for those of you guys that have children, walking towards uh, a, a, a better understanding of an emotional connection with your children. For some of you guys, uh, you could be dealing or you could have a child that you, uh, I know Leos have this incredible uh, connection with your children, um, but it could have been or it can be that you're going through a situation where you kind of are trying to understand a child of yours, um, uh, not really feeling like you know exactly who they are. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with teenagers and they're in that rebellious type of stage. But I do see that um, the ego is kind of uh, shedding away and they're coming towards you in a more loving way. It could be communication. It could be that they communicate exactly what they're going through. It could be that they have, you know, things going on in their life um, socially um where they you know kind of share um for some of you guys this could be that you know you find out that your your child uh has been having a crush or has been uh dealing with some type of emotional turmoil um but again i do see them like opening up and i feel i feel you guys very connected to your children uh, i think the month of december is going to be very um, very beautiful when we're talking about uh, the connections between the children and the parents. So again, um, but I definitely do see, I see two options for you guys here. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, it could represent that uh, with the Six of Swords, I feel that you guys were walking towards more calmer waters. It could have been a turbulent um, couple of months for you guys. Uh, it could have been that there was lack of communication and a lot of doubts that started lingering around um, but I do see that in this month you guys are coming together you guys are being completely honest and communicating or trying to at least communicate uh, your doubts or your fears towards your partner and your partner towards you now we have here uh, the message that spirit wants to give to you is shame regret and guilt those are just bullshit and the back it says forgive let that shit go so yeah i think that for some of you guys here with the queen of wands um like i said i feel that you guys were challenged in some way uh i feel that your confidence was kind of in shambles um it, it could have been a situation again about a relationship for some of you guys where you felt like you self-sacrificed too much and you had to take your power back. Um, and, and, and that 
you know, especially for Leos, when a relationship or a connection doesn't work out and you've invested so much, um, you connect everything of what you have or there's lack of, uh, you connect everything to yourself because, like I said, you're ruled by the sun, ego. Um, so it could have been like almost a feeling of, I can't believe I put up with this or I can't believe that I'm still going through this or I can't believe that they didn't appreciate everything I did for them, etc., etc. And what they're telling you, it's time to let go of that. If this is something that you've been dealing with for a while, let that go. Trust me when I tell you everyone gets what they deserve. And I know often people say that and you think like karmically, um, but the truth of the matter is we get what we feel in our heart and in our mind that we deserve. And if you know without a doubt that you deserve better, sweetheart, you will get better, period. But you have to believe that yourself. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you guys some type of insight. I wish you guys happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.